Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com here. Uh, as you know, Curtis has been working on these Star Wars Evolution boxes. So he's going to go with the the R2-D2 and the Millennium Falcon. Okay, that's my that's my drawing of the R2-D2. His legs are kind of fat there. I guess that's like when, he's, when he has like rocket booster R2-D2. And that's the Millennium Falcon. It's not a good one, except it's with like the, the, the square radar Millennium Falcon. So we'll save uh, TIE Fighter and X-Wing for him next time. All right. Good luck. Thanks, Curtis, for digging through this entire case. We'll do Millennium Falcon box first. I think that's a good that's a good theme. I really like the soundtrack in Force Awakens. That's the Ray theme by uh, John Williams. That was pretty nice. I think soundtrack wise, it's pretty good. It's one of his best. I think the music is really good. I'm tired from. The, I'm looking forward to the Last Jedi, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be honest with you. I can't wait till December, but I, I suppose I'll have to. The um, uh, J.J. Abrams' uh, production office, where they do a lot of that work, is in Santa Monica, Curtis. Did you know that? It's an, it's a, it's an, old, uh, it's an old brick building, like, like a mile and a half from where I, I, I could walk to it and like walk to it in like 20 minutes. Should I just sit, sit out there and stalk J.J. Abrams and be like, hey... And I think Kathleen Kennedy has an office there too. She has an office there as well. So I should just go over there and just be like, Hey guys, <laughs> Kathleen, Cat. You think she goes by Cat? You think her friends call her Cat? <laughs> so, yeah, but I mean, you know, he's got executive producer credit, doesn't he? Like, you don't think he, you don't think he goes to the. I don't know. I'm, well, Kathleen Kennedy's office is up the street, too. So I'll just go find her then. <laughs> I'll just be like, hey, Kat. What's going on with the next one? Last Jedi, let me know. Just between you and me. What's, what, what's happening here? I'll, uh, I'll show you where it is. I'm talking about Kathleen Kennedy. Cat, everyone knows Kathleen Kennedy. She, uh, she's the president of uh, Lucasfilm since 2012. She's kind of a big deal. Let's see if I could find it on a map. Yeah, who is the last Jedi? Is it singular? Is it plural? I don't know. Let's go to... So hold on, here you go. So if you go here, this is Santa Monica, right? There's Santa Monica, beautiful Santa Monica where I live. And if you go to National Type Rider Company on Olympic Boulevard, right there, it looks like that. That's what it looks like at night. And that's the secret office. It's not, it's not so secret, but that's where J.J. Uh, Abrams' production studio is. Well, there it is. Well, his bad robot productions, I guess, is inside there too. This is also, oh, this is a cool website too. Anyway, yeah, so that's where all of his bad robot stuff is. But on the, on the front of the building, it says National Typewriter Company in a brick building. And I think Kathleen Kennedy, so she does all, this, all the Star Wars stuff, Lucasfilm stuff as well. Where's her office? Her office is somewhere in Santa Monica too. Let 
think she's just right down the street. I don't know, she's got an office in Santa Monica as well. Mm, yeah, there's her, her Kennedy Marshall office is right there. I think it's the same Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, there's her husband, Frank Marshall. Yeah, there they are. So her office is right there. And so, and the, oh, and there's Bruckheimer Films over there, but on Olympic is where the, it's where the National Typewriter Company is, so it's pretty close. Where do you think they get coffee? I have no idea where they get coffee. Probably the, the, the Pete's Coffee or Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf on 7th and Wilshire. That's where, that's where they all go. That's where all the stars go. So Curtis just looking for the purples, like this one, like the Stormtrooper. He's looking for the purples. He's building sets, of course, and he'll be looking for um, all the other hits as well. Blue Luke Skywalker, he doesn't need that. Oh no no no! You can you can have the Anakin's, Curtis. It's okay. I've got an I, I've got I mean my my collection is. Oh, Mon Mothma. Caroline Blackiston, as Mon Mothma. There she is, many Bothans. Et cetera, et cetera. Poor Bothans. When's that movie gonna happen? Rogue Two. I want to see that. Ah, Han Solo and Lando. He old pirate. Nice. Scary Adat -Ad Walkers. Sokotano. Clone Wars animated series. Really great. Uh, it's purple Anakin Skywalker. Do I get this Anakin? Oh, that's for you too. There's R two D two. Ventress, the assassin. There's a star destroyer. There's Yoda in a battle stance. The Grand Inquisitor's lightsaber. Clone trooper. Star Wars app. And there's a piece of foil there. And C-3PO reveals C-3PO, Rebel Alliance commemorative flag patch. 170 out of 170. There's old Anakin right there in blue. Nice. So that was box number one. Let's sleeve all of these guys up. Nice one, Curtis. So what's the next, Curtis, what's the next standalone Star Wars movie? Is, Han, is the Han Solo movie first? And then the, the Bubba Fett movie two years later? Something like that? I think the Han Solo movie is first, right? All right, so there are, there's your C-3PO relic, your autograph, a couple purples, and the stained glass. You think Yoda's in the mix too? So th is, this is Han Solo, the time period is before A New Hope, is that correct? I'm assuming. Or is it in between? 
in between or something like that. But I think um, I think it is before New Hope. I'm pretty sure, and probably events before. Probably events before, yeah, well before Rogue One as well. Yeah, so they're, yeah, they're just little baby smugglers. They're just just getting their feet wet. Oh, Khaleesi is from Game of Thrones is in it too. So, is is this gonna be blonde Khaleesi or is this gonna be brunette Khaleesi? Um, I think brunette Khaleesi is in the Terminator movie, which I watched and I was like, I was like. Hey, this chick, this chick is easy on the eyes. Who is she? And then I was like, oh my god, this is Brunette Khaleesi. I want to say, I, in terms of just... I think she's actually a pretty good actress, too. I would have to say that I would prefer the Brunette Khaleesi over Blonde Khaleesi. Whatever her name is. I don't know, I don't know the actress's name. Sorry, actress, if you're listening. Oh, Chewie might meet up with Han as well. Oh, that's good. I'd like to see that. So how long are they going to make us wait for that one? So Last Jedi comes out in, in, uh, in, in December. So when is this Han Solo movie supposed to come out? Do we get it like early summer? Or do we have to wait for like until like winter again? Oh, Amelia Clark. Well, Miss Clark, if you're if you're if you're listening, um, feel free to come by to Jaspie's Hobbyland in Redondo Beach, California, and we can go out for. I'd like to take you out for In and Out, hamburgers and milkshakes. It's pretty delicious. I think she's English, right, Curtis? I think she's English. You want me to? Uh, you want me to rip it open? There's a Sokotano. So this is your second box right here. Another purple stormtrooper. Oh, they're gonna make us wait another. So, okay, December. And, Will of Tarkin. Ah, I thought I smelled a rat. Or your foul stench when I came aboard. That's the line, right? Amelia Clark's probably thinking, man, that guy's ability to recite Star Wars lines is pretty attractive. I know. Chewbacca C-3PO stained glass. And nice. Do you need this? I don't know if you have this in your collection or yet. He's building sets out of this. But there's Chewbacca, the lenticular. Or the, what are they, I think they call it someone else. Morph cards. It's pretty neat. There's Anakin Speeder, which he just recklessly jumps out of. Right, come on. Leaving this guy to fly it. Oh, you needed that one. Nice. The Chewbacca. Awesome. There's a purple Anakin Skywalker. I feel like they were the same as the other two boxes, right? The purples. All right, so, oh, nice. There's Chancellor, Chancellor Valorum. 41 out of 50. Just just a pawn, just a pawn of Palpatine, Chancellor Valorum. I guess everyone was pawns. At at Walker, is this a different parallel or? Is that just a refractor? Looks like that's it. And blue C three PO. All right. Oh, no parallels on the inserts. Gotcha. So let's sleeve these guys up. Nice. Well, I'm glad we were able to uh, we were able to add some things to the set, Curtis. I appreciate you chipping away at these boxes. 
I always, I always enjoy doing these guys. All right, so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a couple personal boxes for Curtis, who's been chipping away at this uh, over for a while, but we're almost done with it. We're going to see if we can continue adding to his collection. Keep watching on Jaspi's Hobbyland. Uh, be sure to subscribe to YouTube. This is Joe. May the force be with you.